Hey everyone, today for the Twisted Craft 100 subscriber special, I will be showing you fluid moving animations that can not only cut down trees, but also react to the environment around them. So this is my first animation that can react to its environment around it. And the way it works is you can just place a stone block at any point to stop the animation. If you break the stone block, he'll start walking, and he'll go until he hits wood or a tree and starts cutting it down. So he'll fully cut down the tree and drop all the blocks on the ground. And then at any point, like, he could just go, 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 and then at any point, you just pick some random spots. And he'll just cut down the wood with different animations for the different heights, depending on what the height of the block is. And this is completely, like, not pre-programmed. Just the animation is, but like not when he does it. And this is really cool because you could use it to like set up like a large forest cutter and stuff like that, and then maybe even collect the wood. But right now he just drops it on the ground for you. And it can go up to some really big trees. I think one, two, three, four, five. Trees only grow to six high. I think that's six high. And yeah, you can cut them down fully. And then anytime you can just place a stone block, and he will stop. So we'll now teleport over there and take a look at how the redstone works to show you that it's really random and I'm not just pre-placing blocks. So we won't go too deep into the redstone since it is a fairly complicated process, but I'll explain basically how it works. Is there's two armor stands, this one, and then the main woodcutter. The woodcutter moves relative to this guy, so this guy just sits here. This summons them. Over here we have six blocks for how high the wood is in front of him, since oak trees can be six ahead. So right now this one's deactivated since there's a stone block ahead of him. If we break the stone block, it turns on and, oh, it's running into wood. That's why you can't see it. So you can see as he runs into wood, uh, redstone blocks turn on and that turns on the walking animation here. Over here, this is the walking animation. So you can see when he starts walking, he's cutting down a tree right now. So as soon as he starts walking though, Boom, you'll see the redstone shoot out in front. That's him taking steps forward. Over here is the different uh, wood cutting animations based on the height of the tree. So depending how tall it is. So like here, you'll see it go through the first one, go through the second one, go through the third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one. It was a bit too fast for me to catch. And then he'll do it again since another six height block one here. And that's basically the gist of it and these over here are the test four blocks to test to see if there are wood blocks in front of them in the height and these redstone things in here are just super flask clocks that change it between air and uh, redstone repeatedly so that's just pretty well always checking and I know most of you probably wouldn't understand any of that but it's basically for those that already know command blocks and want to try to build their own it's the general idea behind it oh and now he's run into a block of stone which stops him from moving so there's a lot of potential with this. Like you can start building advanced robots that can go cut down wood, maybe bring it back for you into a chest, go mining for you, maybe even go and look and kill mobs. Like you could build basically advanced AI villagers. So this would be kind of like mods without mods. So there's a lot of potential for this and I look forward to building some more advanced creations for you guys. And thank you very much for sharing and liking the videos. And thanks for helping me get to 100 subscribers so fast. Thank you all for watching, and Twistercraft signing off.